Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another one in my wedding series. I know I haven't done too many of these so far. I was kind of waiting for a lot of the wedding planning to be over, which it now is, thank goodness, just because I felt a bit silly kind of producing videos on wedding planning advice and things like that without really knowing what I was talking about. So I wanted to wait till I had a bit more experience, but now we are pretty much done with wedding planning, which I'm really excited about because it's very time consuming, kind of all encompassing, um, but we're pretty much there. So I will be doing videos on budgeting, general planning, styling, all kinds of stuff. But today's video is going to be on the topic of wedding accessories. I have pretty much my entire bridal look sorted out, everything from my shoes, my jewelry, to my getting ready clothes, everything. So today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly what I have bought for the big day and the individual items and how I'm gonna wear them. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get going. So first up, I want to show you what shoes I got. This took me a really long time. I did a vlog about wedding shoes as well and I honestly must have tried on over 50 pairs. Like I really really did a lot of research into wedding shoes, what would be suitable, what would be most comfortable. I ended up settling on two pairs actually. So the first pair are going to be my main wedding shoes. They're from Jimmy Choo. I actually decided to go for their made to order range. So they do a whole bridal service on their website where you can pick not just shoes, I think it's bags as well and you can basically customize the shoe that you want so you can pick the style you can pick the heel height you can pick the material the color everything and you can also get an engraving as well of either letters or numbers so I got our wedding date put on there as well so really amazing they are a little bit more than the normal kind of already made shoes um, but not too much more they do take a while to come through so I think mine took almost two months so it was quite a long time but definitely worth the way I'm so happy with how they turned out so I'm going to show you them now it was a very exciting time when I got notifications saying it was shipped so has the dust bag and they're all wrapped up very nicely ready to be worn in June which is when our wedding is and these ones I believe are the Emily shoe I think that's the star name and these come in three different heel heights they come in a lower one and a higher one I went for the medium one um, not necessarily because of the height but just because this was the most comfortable I ordered some of their standards so not made to order shoes just to try it on and I tried on the lower heel height and this one and this one was actually much more comfortable for me maybe because of the arch of my foot I'm not really sure um, but these were definitely very comfortable and these are probably the most comfortable wedding shoes. In fact, they definitely are. These are the most comfortable wedding shoes at this height that I found. I tried on so many different pairs and I guess because of the straps as well, they keep your foot very secure. They're very easy to walk in. There's a lot of breathability as well. So we're hoping it's gonna be quite hot, which obviously means that your feet can swell a bit. So hopefully these will do the job. I absolutely love them. I got them in white satin just because I wanted really classic wedding shoes. I know lots of people prefer to get them in like a glitter or something so you can wear them again but I just wanted the very classic bridal shoe look so completely white satin they have the buckle right there a good heel height not too high and not too low I think and then also I have a little plaque there which says our wedding date so I am so excited about these I think they're absolutely beautiful I'm so thrilled with how they turned out would definitely recommend the service a little bit more pricey but very much worth it for kind of a very special bridal shoe experience and then I did also get a second pair of shoes as well, and these are really my backup shoes. I'm pretty confident that those are going to be more than comfortable enough, but I do want a fail-safe option just in case because I really don't want to think about how much my feet hurt on the day. I know it's going to be a long day where I'm gonna be on my feet a lot, so I wanted a backup pair of shoes with a lower heel. So I got these from Paradox London, and again, these took me a long time to find because I really wanted to get the most comfortable shoes I possibly can. This brand I hadn't heard of before, but they do a lot of bridal shoes. They have a huge selection, and I decided to go for these, which I think are very cute in themselves. I think they're kind of a bit art deco-y, so they have a nice strap with quite a lot of width as well, so not gonna dig into your toes, and then a, you know, it's not a huge heel up, but it's a kitten heel. Um, so I wanted a little bit of height, just because I feel like you walk a bit differently in heels as well, so. I wanted the heel height, but I didn't want anything too high, and these are perfect. I ordered a few pairs from them, and these were the most comfortable. What's the style name? So they're called Maggie, and they come in a few colors. I went for the champagne, 
and I think they are absolutely perfect. Very comfortable, very cute, and exactly what I was looking for. So hopefully between these ones and the Jimmy Choo's, I am completely sorted in terms of wedding shoes. Next up, I have a clutch bag, and this isn't actually for our wedding day. I don't think I'm gonna need a clutch for our wedding day just because I'm not planning on carrying much, I'm not planning on having my phone with me, and I have a lot of bridesmaids as well. So I don't think I'll need one. I might use this, but really I bought this for the Friday night where we are having a welcome dinner. So I got it from LK Bennett, and LK Bennett have just launched their collection with Jenny Packham, and it's a special bridal collection, which I was so excited about. I love both brands, and when I saw it, I signed up for the emails, and I got the notification as soon as it went live. Saw this online and instantly bought it because I just think it's so pretty. So this is the clutch bag. I've already unwrapped it, but they also do so many pretty bridal shoes as well. I wish they'd been around when I was looking for mine because so many gorgeous styles, but I saw this and thought it was absolutely ideal. It is white satin and then it has pearl trim all the way around, which is just very me. I love pearls and I think the combination is just so, so pretty. It just opens with a snap closure and then it has a fair amount of space. It's not too large, not too small, just the ideal size, I think. So you can fit your phone in there if you want to and some makeup and other essentials like that. And you do also have the chain which you can take off if you want to or you can obviously use as a shoulder bag as well. So I thought this was the prettiest thing, just as nice in real life as it was on the website and exactly what I was looking for. So very excited to use this for the welcome dinner and maybe the wedding day as well. Next up, I have our getting ready clothes. So what I'm gonna be wearing, also what my bridesmaids are wearing as well. So my robe I got from Nordstrom and it's from a brand called Flora Nicruz, if that's how you say it. I'm not really sure, but I will link whatever I can down below. And this is by far the prettiest bridal robe I saw. I absolutely loved it. So if I can untangle it. So it has these beautiful netted sleeves and then it wraps up in the front with this beautiful embroidery right here. And then on the back, it has this sheer top half and then a solid bottom half. So pretty. I love the fact that it's fully long sleeve as well and I just absolutely love it. This one was $88, I think. Yeah, $88, which, you know, not super cheap, but I saw some robes which were like three or $400, which is just a lot of money for a robe. And I thought this was far prettier and a better price as well. So, so excited about this. The only thing was I was a bit concerned about what I was gonna wear underneath it because obviously the back is see-through, but I found the perfect thing from Beholden. Beholden has been amazing. I stalk their website pretty much every week. Um, but I found this, which was ideal. So just a really beautiful, simple slip. It's pretty much exactly the same color. You really can't tell the difference between the two. Has a nice V-neck. It's cotton the bias as well. So really flattering, just a little bit figure hugging, but not too much. And just a really beautiful classic piece. It's 100% silk as well, so you're getting quality. And then you do have the adjustable straps, which is also very helpful. So. I love this, the absolute perfect find and the perfect match for my robe. And now for my bridesmaids getting ready robe, I went for this beautiful one. I also got these from Beholden, but the brand name is Yumi Kim. And I thought these were so cute. I really wanted to go for floral ones just to add something a little bit fun to our getting ready photos. And these are just perfect. Such a beautiful print. They do have a few different colorways as well. So it's quite hard to choose. They have a beautiful pink one. I went for the blue and pink and I just think they're so lovely. Kind of reminds me a little bit of cherry blossoms and just really, really pretty. All of the bridesmaids like them as well, which is quite difficult when there's so many of them, but they're all big fans. And I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous. So very excited I can't wait to see how everyone looks together and see the photos or we'll do the photos as well but so excited for these next up I wanted to mention coat hangers which is a bit of a random one but it's kind of a thing I feel for getting ready photos to have purse size coat hangers and I spent a really long time trying to find the right ones but a lot of them were really pricey for what is essentially just a coat hanger um, so I ended up doing these myself so these are just the coat hangers I have hanging in my closet already I have just the plain white ones and then I bought these decals from Etsy and I think this one was 75p I wanted to do it as an experiment because I didn't know if they would come out as nicely as kind of more professionally bought ones, but I am so pleased with how these came out. So this one obviously just says bride. It's rose gold, so super pretty, and it's just a decal that I stock on myself, and I absolutely love the effect. I think they came out so well, so much cheaper as well. I don't remember how much the coat hangers cost, but I think it's like 
eight pounds for 12 or something like that is hardly anything and then obviously the decals are very very affordable as well so this is a really good alternative if you want that look and you want kind of cute coat hangers but you don't want to spend like 15 pounds per coat hanger which I know some sellers are charging so love these definitely thought worth a mention just a really cute DIY which looks really good but doesn't cost the earth and now for one of my favorite wedding items so far and really this isn't even a specific wedding item because I am planning on using this way after we get married but it is a beautiful little ring box this is from the Mrs Box which is a company that specializes in these beautiful velvet ring boxes you can get them in a whole rainbow of colors it took me so long to decide which one to go for I eventually went for this one which is the Haven Heart I believe which is a beautiful pale pink and you can also get your initial engraved on it as well so I got the letter P for my new last name and I got it in the rose gold and I absolutely love the combination I think it came out so beautifully then inside I went for the double box so I have space for my engagement ring and also space for my wedding ring when we go and pick it up so I am so excited for this. It's going to look beautiful in our wedding photos as well because whenever I see wedding photos on Style Me Pretty or Pinterest or anything like that, I always see these ring boxes and I think it's just such a beautiful wedding accessory. But it's also just very useful now. Good for travel as well, but I also don't always wear my ring around the house. You know, when I'm doing washing up or something like that, I don't want to get my ring damaged. So I just pop it in here and I know it's safe. Definitely a bit of a luxury, but 100% worth in my opinion. They're often sold out as well, so I had to wait like two months to order mine because this color was not in stock, but absolutely worth the wait. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And now finally on to my wedding jewelry. So I have three items here to show you. So I have one headpiece and then two pairs of earrings because I am planning on switching up my earrings from the wedding ceremony to the wedding reception. So both are from Kenneth J. Lane. I got these ones from Shopbop, I believe. And these are just very, very simple studs. I didn't want anything too extravagant or fancy. I wanted to keep my jewelry pretty simple and just elegant and you know just not a lot of fuss and these are basically just a bigger example of what I wear on a daily basis I wanted to go a little bit bigger just because I feel like it's wedding day you know you probably should um, but these are just very very classic and very pretty I think so exactly what I wanted I love the fact that they are rounded and just perfect so not too pricey either with a lot of sparkle so I'm very very excited to see the whole look come together and then I got another pair of earrings for the reception and these are also from Kenneth J Lane these ones I got from Beholden though and they are little chandelier earrings so I did want to dress up my evening look a little bit so I ended up getting these really really pretty chandelier ones the perfect amount of drop they're not too big but they're big enough to make a bit of a statement I think they are super super sparkly and the detail on them is just so pretty as well I thought these were really stunning exactly what I was looking for you know I did want kind of a statement earring but I didn't want it to be too overpowering and these absolutely hit the spot so so excited to have found these I absolutely love them and I can't wait to wear them and now for the very last wedding accessory that I'm going to show you and this was actually one of the first things I bought for the wedding it's my hair piece from Jennifer Bear and it is very very beautiful this was a really pricey one and honestly now that I'm kind of this far into wedding planning if I was going to buy it again I'm not 100% sure I would just because I now know how much everything else the wedding is going to cost but at the time I was so early on that I was like oh you know I'm engaged I'm going to treat myself um, so this one was a really pricey one but I am happy I got it because it is really beautiful I kind of fell out the bubble wrap there so it is this absolutely stunning comb I'm not absolutely sure how I'm going to wear this yet because I don't know how I'm going to do my hair I have my hair trial next month yeah next month um, so I'm going to bring this along then and we're going to figure out how we're going to use it at the moment I'm thinking it's either going to be kind of at the top of my head where my veil is going to be or if I'm going to wear my hair in a bun then I'm going to tuck it into that but haven't fully decided yet but this is absolutely beautiful I think it does have a lot of detail a lot of sparkle but not too much and honestly this is just the most stunning thing again a lot of money these pieces aren't cheap but hopefully this will be a bit of an heirloom that maybe I can pass down to my kids or something like that um but yeah very excited about this I'm excited to see how the whole look is going to come together 
a really really pretty one. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any video requests for this wedding series then let me know down below because I'm happy to take on board your suggestions and film what you guys actually want to see. If you have any questions about anything here today then let me know as well but I will leave links to everything I can down below in the description section. As always thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!